What's going on everybody? So, came home from being out of town for a week and found out that my Dell server that I use to host games on and it uh, sits away churning and burning and folding at home as well all day uh, was basically dead. Um, it was booted, fans were running, well booted in the sense that it at least powered everything up, had the fans all running. Um, but on the front here, this little LCD panel right here, <clears throat> when powered up, I was getting an, an E201B error, uh, apparently a keyboard controller error. No clue what was going on. Tear the machine apart. Well, strip it down to just RAM and uh, uh, CPUs. You know, I took out the, the uh, RAID controller, the LSI RAID controller out of it. I uh, disconnected the other couple of peripherals attached to it, so it was just bare minimum. Still getting the same error, no peripherals plugged in the back, none of that. Again, still getting the same error. It wasn't until I then started to disassemble even further, taking off all the heat shrouds and stuff, that I find this just laying loose inside of here. Uh, at one point in its life, kept this chip right here cool. And it was just kind of laying here. There's a big shroud that sits right over top of the RAM here with a fan on it. And it was just sitting there, kind of sitting on it like so. So I didn't even notice it when I first opened the case until I started pulling everything apart. Turns out, this little guy right here, if we can get the focus, maybe, 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 no. Well, you can kind of see it, you know, the camera don't want to focus. Um, but it's a little pin that's supposed to be right here. There's another one, just like it, right down here. So, what those do, if we go back to the heat sink here, is they actually attach to these little loops right here. Basically, just a little spring-loaded system that you know holds those two, holds these two guys down, and puts pressure on it to hold it in place. You know, pretty simple. There's a lot of heat sinks that use similar types of setups on a lot of different computers. Nothing unique about it. But it is the first time that I've actually seen one of these come out. No idea how it happened. Uh, best guess is the solder. Assuming they're soldered in, can't really tell. I'll find out when I get it fully disassembled and get the board out, but if it's soldered in, it might have just been a solder failure. In any case, before I even fully discovered what was going on, I went ahead and you know, just assumed something was broken or dead on the board. And I already ordered another one I found on eBay that was actually a brand new one that was sitting in mothballs someplace. Uh, never actually been used, so it's kind of nice. But, you know, I guess that's the kind of thing that happens when you have a 10-year-old server laying around. It's weird. Strange things go wrong on them and break. Things that aren't normal. But, you know, that was kind of a weird, strange little thing to see happen. You know, I don't usually see that kind of stuff on server-grade hardware. Uh, you know, heat sinks falling off. It's usually on cheap crap, you know, that you buy for, you know, 40 or 50 bucks, you know, as far as some other boards go. Not a server that costs thousands of dollars brand new. So, thought it was an interesting little deal. Um, I got, like I said, I got a new motherboard coming in. We're just gonna swap the whole thing out and move the CPUs and the RAM and everything over to the brand new board. Might try to repair this one. You know, fire up the old soldering, old soldering iron and stuff, and see if we can fix it. If we can, we'll either sell the uh, repaired board or maybe we'll try and uh, get it up and running to make some kind of a uh, dedicated folding machine or something out of it. That way I'm not trying to tax this system as much running game servers and trying to fold on at the same time. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, just thought I'd show you guys that. thought it was kind of kind of weird, kind of interesting. An unusual kind of failure. Uh, that's pretty much it. Everybody have a good one, and we'll see you some other time.